Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a little let's talk about slash demo on the new CoverGirl The Super Sizer by Lash Bass Mascara. I tried filming this probably about the third. Also, I tried to film my May favorites, which I'm going to be filming after this, and I didn't like the way they came out. The lighting was all screwed up, so I'm refilming them again. And I'm sorry. If you can hear my kids, they're out here with my husband. There's kids running around down outside. I'm sorry. It's gloomy as shit out. So I'm sorry if I look super pale. It's the weather and it's the lighting and it sucks. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But anyways, I'm going to do a demo with this. This is the new mascara, the Super Sizer by Lash Blast Mascara. 400% corner to corner volume. I've seen a few other people do reviews on this and demos, and and this is in very black. This is the packaging. It's super cute packaging. It's big. It's substantial. And they want you to do a unique lash styler twirl as you apply. Yeah. That's the brush. It is smaller at the base and then as you work your way out it kind of fans out. Kind of like a club. Like if you remember, um, <coughs> excuse me, any of the like cartoons that used to have like cavemans and everything, how the base of their club was, was smaller and then as it got up it kind of got bigger. That's what this wand reminds me of, which is kind of weird. Yeah. It's a very wet formula, so if you do not like wet formulas, you are not going to like this. Um, they tell you that when you apply it, for best results, you slightly twirl the lash styler as you apply. Apply as many coats as needed. Basically, they want you to take it, and they want you to put it on, and then they want you to twirl it, like kind of roll it up as you're applying it. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, you do that, you can do that like the first time, but then if you keep doing it, you're going to end up with four lashes. It's not going to look good. And I don't know what this trend of clumpy ass looking lashes is. Like have you seen the new Maybelline, like Chaos or whatever mascara? The girl on the that ad, her lashes look heinous. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't know who is into that, but, mm-mm, no. But that's what they want you to do with this. I have found that if you twirl it, like, the first time, the first coat you put on, and then just go in and put on mascara the way you usually do, you'll get a lot better results. So, I mean, it's an okay mascara. I believe it's about $7 at the drugstore. It's decent. I would probably, me personally, I would probably just stick with the regular Lash Blast or the Clump Crusher. This is okay though. If I had to do it again, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but you know, for the purpose of this channel and giving you guys information about mascara that has come out, new makeup and everything, I got it. It's a decent mascara. If you're looking for it, if you've walked by it and it's caught your eye and you thought it was okay or you're like, hmm, I don't know if I want to buy that. If you want to take the plunge, go for it. If it doesn't interest you, don't lose any sleep over it. But it's an okay mascara. Me, personally, I don't really like wet formulas. So I've probably had this about two weeks and I've let it maybe kind of dry out and it maybe has dried out a little bit. But, all in all, it's okay. As long as you don't put it on the way they specify you to put it on, your lashes are going to come out looking pretty okay. So, I know Young Wild and Polish said she didn't like this. I know Mel and PHS did a bash it or buy it and everything. And she said the exact same thing. Don't put it on the way that they specify you to put it on. Put it on the way you regularly put mascara on and it will work a lot better for you. So... After, since I've done with that review, right now I'm going to do a little bit of a demo. Work with me because <laughs> I'm here to tell you I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but you know, we're going to figure it out. So just, you know, I got my 
I got my little mirror here that I'm gonna work with so I'm gonna zoom you guys all in and let's get this demo knocked out shall we okay then I really hope my lighting is looking okay but here's the brush You can't really see it, can you? Ugh. And the way they're telling you to do it is they want you to like put it on your lashes. Good God. I can't do this. Okay, they want you to put it on your lashes and like roll it as you go up. Like that's what they want you to do. And I'm sorry, but... I've already curled my lashes before I came in here and I already have the NYX skinny mascara on my bottom lashes so there's that eye I mean it does give you good volume it does it doesn't weigh your lashes down it does transfer on me a little bit, but there's that eye. So, I mean, the volume is good. It's decent. But it kind of clumps my lashes together, and I don't necessarily like that. So, let's do... Let's do the other eye, shall we? I'm sorry if you can't see me. Yeah, see this side, since I didn't like twirl it at the beginning, they came out looking a lot nicer than what I... These are the lashes over here that I like. I don't like really clumpy looking lashes. I'm really particular about my lashes and my lashes are really friggin particular about mascara. If they don't like it, they're gonna let me know. Full on. Bitch. What the hell you think you putting on us? But see this one, this over here, when I didn't do the little twirling action that they tell you to do, this one looks a lot nicer than this one over here but I mean it does give you good volumes I don't know about 400 percent but it gives you good volume um but you know it's nothing compared to the Tarte lights camera lashes in the purple tube that is my holy grail. I love that mascara. You want to talk about it? I can put it on there and it makes my lashes almost touch my brow bone. It's ridiculous. But yeah, this is what my lashes look like. This one, this eye right here was with the little twirling motion they tell you to do. This one was without. And with this mascara, I only put like one coat because my lashes are pretty dark anyways. Oh god, it's starting to rain. My lashes are pretty dark anyways, um, so I only put one on because that's, you know, you cake on a whole bunch of mascara and then that's when your lashes start looking crazy. And But, it looks so dark in here. But, that was the demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a decent mascara. Does it give 400% more volume? No, I don't think it does. It does give you a little bit of volume though, but I prefer to just put this on the way I regularly put on mascara. I'm not going to do the little twirling motion because I think when you do that, at the base of your lashes, it cakes your lashes up. And some people might like that. If you like that, if you like having clumpy looking lashes, you like the way that looks, then by all means, knock yourself out with this. But I personally don't but as long as I don't do the little action that they tell me to do I can get decent volume with it and it looks nice so 
I hope you enjoyed this review on this. It probably wasn't that great of a review, but whatever. Um, it's a rainy day, and I'm just kind of whatever. I, you know, this is okay. I'm not going to trash it and be like, oh my god, it's the worst thing CoverGirl's ever come out with. It's not. It's a decent mascara if you're into it. But I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope this helped you if maybe you were going back and forth on, okay, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? Should I not even worry about it? If it did, please like my video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!